Welcome to Slow Home Studio. Too many people live in badly designed houses and we want to change that. Today is Friday, July 22nd and we've received an email from a Slow Home viewer in uh, Westchester County, New York and he's in a bit of a panic because he is in the midst of a remodel and uh, he's got a few uh, concerns about some things so I thought we'd read his email and discuss it. I imagine you get many desperate cries for help but I'm hoping mine will offer something of interest. We have started demo on a home remodel but I'm worried that we are ruining the space. After spending a lot of money for what became drafting rather than design services. You hear about that a lot. We do. We are now left to our own devices and still facing the same problems. This is very interesting. I'm mm -hmm. basically freaking out that we are making poor decisions that will haunt us for the rest of our lives. And that's from David in Westchester County, so, New York. That's right. So David sent us a whole bunch of information, images, plans, even a couple of videos that we're going to post on the site for you to see. This is the existing house. It was designed by an architect in 1983. It's uh, quite a nice design. I think it, obviously it didn't quite fit what they needed, but we've got, if I just orient you, we've, orient you, we've got the front door here with a, with a front entry foyer, a closet, the powder room, all well located, the stair going up, I think that's great. Yep. All of that's just fine. We've got a garage over here on the side and we come up and then we come through this door here and we're in through the kitchen. Again, not, not maybe not great to have that, not to have a mudroom back there, but but not bad. We then come through the kitchen. Here, this is the washer dryer over on this side. We had an eating nook, the family room, and then the living room over, over here, and then this was the dining room. Yeah, I mean, overall, this is a really workable plan for renovation. I mean, it is. this is one that we would jump on and say, well, great, you know, there's great bones to it. So I think to start with, it's a good, uh, good starting point. It is, and David's concern was he didn't think that they needed to have two eating spaces. They would like to turn this space into a kind of play area study space for their, uh, for their kids. And uh, they originally had in their budget moving the washer dryer upstairs and adding a mudroom here. That got cut out of the budget as... Uh, as out of the project as the budget continued. Yep, so this was the plan that the uh, designer came up with and you know they, they have reworked the kitchen and I actually think that the kitchen is pretty good. I think that the uh, the fact that it's now an L-shaped kitchen that uh, you come in with the, uh, the entry to the garage there and then with an island there's clear circulation there. That all makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah, I, I agree and it's lucky it is that because as David told us he's ordered the kitchen cabinets already so that's kind of a done deal. But that's that's just fine. And again, I think that this is also a smart move. Yep. Um, I think we've got some questions about, as he does, about the relationship between these three spaces, and that's what we're going to talk about on Monday. Uh, so if you're interested, you can have a look and maybe put in your two bits about what you think David might be able to do, but we're going to give our recommendations on Monday. See you Monday. Bye. If you're interested in learning more about the principles of slow home design, you can pick up a copy of our book entitled, What's Wrong With This House? It's a practical guide to finding a well-designed and sustainable home. It's available for sale on the Slow Home Studio website. It's also available for sale at Amazon.com in both paperback and the Kindle format.